by EVGA. The EVGA GeForce GTX 650 Ti Boost has arrived. This card is an upgrade over the standard GeForce GTX 650 Ti. So before we get to any of the performance, let's go ahead and open it up and see what we get on the inside. So here we have the EVGA manual. We also have a driver DVD and an EVGA case badge. Also included is a note about PCI Express 3.0 compatibility and a quick installation guide. We also have a note about the power connectors needed and a dual Molex to 6 pin power connector and a DVI to VGA. And here it is. This card has dual DVI outputs, which are capable of 2560 by 1600 each, HDMI, and DisplayPort. This card requires a single 6-pin power input, and also it has a two-way SLI connector, which makes it the most inexpensive 600 series graphics card that supports SLI. EVGA is offering standard and super clocked versions, and both come with 768 processing cores, which makes it a tremendous value for the money. This card also has support for NVIDIA GPU Boost technology, which will dynamically change the clock depending on the application. This maximizes the performance in any given scenario. This also means that it has support for EVGA Precision X, which gives you full control over the card's power target, GPU clock offset, and memory clock offset. So now let's look at some performance. I am running the recently released Bioshock Infinite, and at 1920 by 1080 resolution, with all settings set to ultra, including anti-aliasing, I am getting an average of 57.22 frames per second. This is an excellent result. Alright, so now let's take a look at another benchmark. I'm going to run the Unigen Valley benchmark at 1920 by 1080 ultra settings with 4x anti-aliasing, and at these settings I maintain an average of 34.1 frames per second. Again, an excellent result for this very stressful benchmark. So there you have it, the EVGA GeForce GTX 650 Ti Boost. This card is a great value for the money and is a great card for anybody looking to play the latest games. For more information on this product, please visit the EVGA website at www.evga.com or be a part of our community at forums.evga.com.